Why do businesses, consumers, and high net worth individuals need to protect themselves from cyber attacks in the future? Well, here it is all in one chart. The cost of cyber crime worldwide is going to go up exponentially. You know, right now we're at this two, uh, 2022 level, which is $8.4 trillion. In just five short years, it's going to be roughly three times that. Right? It's going to triple. And that's a big jump from even what it was two years ago. So you went from roughly $3 trillion to $8 trillion in two years. Now you're going to go from 8 to $23 trillion. This cybercrime takes all kind of formats. It could be hacking your bank account. It could be um, getting data from your computer, which is used to blackmail you or to do different types of ransomware. If you're a company, it could be locking up your server so you don't have access to your accounts receivable, to your customer files, to your employee files. Uh, many times it has to do with uh, doing Bitcoin scams to uh, embezzle money from your company. This can be covered in two ways. One is you can buy cyber liability insurance. Another way to do it is to put proper cyber protection methods into your daily routines. And they're not real hard. It doesn't. It's not going to change your ongoing operations. Obviously, the best thing to do is do the cyber defense and cyber protection within your company and then also get insurance. In fact, if you have cyber liability insurance, your insurance carrier is probably going to give you all of the different methods to do proper cyber protection in your company. And the advantage there is they know all of the different attack vectors and threat levels that are nationwide, worldwide, for that matter, where your company may only have an IT person that knows some basic cyber protection um, prospects or methods that apply to your particular business or your industry. But the insurance companies, they see it all, right? Because they have to pay out the claims. So they see every single type of attack and they can help you protect against that. So seeing what's coming here, you know, you're going from 8.4 trillion to 23 trillion in cybercrime. That's going to be something that's going to affect most businesses or even consumers or family offices in the coming years.